What if you could create your entire landing page with the pass of just one button? Well, today you can with the help of Mixo.io. It's an AI powered tool that lets you generate your website with just one prompt. In this video, I will go over how you can build your own website, how to customize it, and how you can get started with Mixo for free. So let's jump straight into it. If you want to follow along with this tutorial, then click on the link in my bio below and let's get started. So the first thing we have to do is we have to come up with an idea that our business is about. Well, if you want to start a website, then you already know what your idea is. But for the sake of it, let me show you some examples. An online counseling website for couples and relationships. So these are some of the examples that Mixo has to offer. So let's go with this. Personalized hiking trails to help members improve and reach their goals. Let's see what it comes up with. And during this process, I'm going to explain how it works. So Mixo offers everything in one package. Um, it offers like your inscription, it offers, let me actually put it up for you right now. It offers like a SSL certificate. Uh, it has AI integrated. You don't have to code. You can customize your own URL and it has like a responsive design. So everything can be done through the power of AI and you don't have to know anything about building a website. So let's just see what it has created for us. And Boom, it's already done. Yeah, that's really, really fast. What it also does is it writes the text on your website. It comes up with a name and it also provides you with a logo. The logo looks a bit basic, but you can customize it really easily. If you cl just click on the customize section, uh, you can also customize the name if you'd like. So let's show what Mixo has created for us. So I really like the layout of this landing page. Let me show you what it looks like. Personalized trail recommendation. It has like good images, uh, which are like stock footage. I think, I believe they are from Unsplash. And of course you can always customize it. They also add like reviews and they have like an email signup space. So Mixo.io is perfect if you want to gather leads uh, through email marketing. Um, this is a good way to build like a fast and easy landing page, which lets you collect uh, all of their emails. So once you're happy and you want to proceed to customize your page, then you can click on save and customize. So after you've created your account and you click on proceed, then it brings you to the pricing. Um, that's because if you want to customize your website with your domain name, uh, if you want to remove the watermark, then you will have to buy the premium plan. Um, the premium plan is pretty cheap. Like the monthly price of the basic website is $9 a month, which is pretty cheap, I'd say. And if you go with an annual plan, then you get 20% off. So that it breaks it down to $7 a month. Most popular plan, which I also use, is the growth site. It gives you five pages to work with. So the basic site only gives you one, which means you only have like one landing page. But if you also want an about page, a product page, or a team page, anything else that you want to add on your website, then you might have to uh, upgrade to the growth site. So I would recommend the growth site if you already know that you're using more pages. And if you're even using more pages, then you have to go with the premium site. This allows you to get 50 pages on your website, which is quite a lot. I'm not sure if anyone's going to use that. But if you need more than five pages, then the premium site is the one for you. If you want to get started with a seven day free trial, click the link in the description down below. And let's move on with just a free path for now so I can show you what it looks like. So here we can customize our site. It has these nice subtitles that we can customize. For example, let's move over to the hero section. If we want to change the text, we can customize right here. We can also change the color right here. You can do anything that you think looks good. So you have to select the text. You can change it like that, but I, I like the black one more. And if you want to customize your image, then you click on this image right here. You can upload your own image or you can go to Unsplash and in Unsplash you can search for an image that suits your business. So for example, this website is about hiking. Let me search up hiking and now we can find a picture that I like more. So let's go with this. I right, can also customize the sign up buttons. If you go to sign up for, you can change the button label. For example, this one says join now. I would love to say get in touch. And you can also change the placeholder text. For example, if you want to change enter your email to provide your email and you can also change the place of the text, but I like the text that they've written so far. So I'm just going to leave it like that. Once you like that part, you can move on to the next part. For example, you can remove the image URLs. You can add your own images, of course, and you could add like real reviews in there. This, these are all like placeholders, but also AI generated. 
which look pretty good. So yeah, I would just basically stick to what you have right here. But if you have something custom that you need to change, there is an ability to do that. So right here, you got the features section. If you want to change the image, you can do that too. If you want to add like an SAQ, then you can click on show section. And now over here, a SAQ pops up. You can add like your own custom questions in there. You could add like your own custom sections in there. If you have them, I would definitely add them in. Um, if not, then you can just uncheck this and it leaves it blank like that. So in the bottom corner right here, you can see created by AI or Mixo. If you want to remove that, then you have to scroll all the way up and you, then you go to settings. In the settings, you can go to configuration and you can click on disable the batch. But in order to disable this, you have to buy the basic site or the growth site or the premium site. So this is a paid feature. Um, this also is the same for integrations like Google Tag Manager, Google Analytics, Meta, and um, other. This is also the same thing for Google Tag Manager, Google Analytics, and Facebook Pixel. So if you want to add these things to your website, then you definitely need the paid version. In these settings, you can also change your logo. If you have your own logo, I would add it right there. You could also hide the site name next to the logo. So if your logo already contains the site name, then I would hide it. And you can see the change right here. Um, I'm not going to do it to this website. And if you want to change the colors of your website, then you can do this right here. So you can change the green for to red, for example. And if you want to change the secondary color, you can do that right here. So after you've changed everything and you think it looks good, then you got your own website. But the only thing you need right now is your own custom domain. So if you want to add your own domain, then you click on customize domain. You need a free plan for this. So I already have that, but let me switch to my account so I can show you how this works. So I've made this website. It's a landing page for a video marketing agency. It focuses on editing professional videos. And I've worked around with this site to come up with my own website. And this is what you can do with the premium version. So if you go to customize domain, then you can buy your own domain through Mixo itself. If you already have a domain, then you can simply connect it right here. And once you type in your domain, it asks you for some security details, and you can provide them in there. And then boom, your domain is connected. If you don't have your own domain yet, and you don't want to pay for one, but you still want to have like a customized domain, then you can click on see more options. And over here, you can have like a Mixo.io domain. So for example, let's try this out, Video Edit Pro, which is the name of this website. And you can set up the domain and now it will publish it. So once the setup is complete, I can republish this site and then the URL will be this subdomain. The cool feature Mixer recently added is that they have like new pages. Previously, it was only just a landing page, but now they have added this new page section. From this new section, you can add any page that you like. So for example, you can add another landing page. You're going to add an about us page. You can add a product page. You can also even add like a search page, a pricing page and a privacy policy. If you're going with the growth site, which I have right here, then I would definitely add this section because having a privacy policy and about this will make your website stand out more. So let me show you what my website looks like right now. This is the main homepage. I haven't really customized anything about this. I've just let AI generate it. And personally speaking, I think it looks pretty good. I do have to fill out the frequently asked question, but overall, this looks pretty good. So in the bottom, you can even add like your own social media links. Uh, it will link it for you if you add them in the website. Once we scroll up, you can see the about us page. And if you click on here, you can see our about us page, which is focused around me and my agency. Um, if you want to build your own, let me show you how you can do that. You go to a new page, click on about us, select the page, describe something about your team and describe your company vision. Once you have that done, you can generate the page and let me show you how I do this. So I've just filled in some example text of what your about your page can look like. Once you have this all filled in, you can click on generate page and now it will generate this page for you. So now it has generated about this page. And um, if you want to change anything, if you don't think it looks good, then obviously you can change it in the hero section right here. And you can also change the other parts right there. The whole goal of Mix is to capture leads from your website. So the goal is to get email signups in your website. And the way it tracks the emails is if you go to the dashboard, then you can see the subscribers it has right there. So if you have subscribers, then you can click on the download button and there you have your own subscribers. So if you like your website, then you can click on publish, which I've done just now. And that's basically how you can create your own landing page through Mixer.io. 
If you've liked this video, please leave a like. If you have any questions, ask them in the comments down below. And I will see you in the next one.